Hi guys, this is Rebecca with Our Games, and we are back in The Sims 4, continuing on the Not So Berry Challenge. And this video is going to be the very first part of the Orange Generation. So we are going to be starting that today, because we were able to wrap up Phoenix and her Plum Gen requirements in the last part. So, I'm excited <laughs> to get started on a new gen, so we're going to be following Ember more than anybody else now in the house and um, working on her skills and story and things like that. So, uh, let's go. Everybody is at uh, school or work right now. So Adam is just being a ghost around the house. Uh, and that's fine. <clears throat> and Ember already has the um, I hate it here. Moodlet from being at school, so that's fun. Uh, she really just doesn't like school. And that's not surprising, given uh, who she kind of is as a character in this. Can you put that cake away? So if somebody wants to eat it, they can, and it will be gross when they get home. I know Ember. She, she really just hates it at school. Oh, Adam. We found an unsent love letter from Adam to his teacher at his desk today. <laughs> Nothing racy, but we thought you should know. Oh, cute but inappropriate. We'll talk. <laughs> Adam. Uh, oh, wow. He's already got his emotional control in a really good state. That seems fitting for him as well. Oh, Adam's got his empathy up and everything. Jeez. Look at this kid. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, his character values are just doing great. Look at that. Way to go, Adam. What about Ember? How's she doing? She's got good manners and responsibility. Conflict resolution is pretty high. Just surprising. <laughs> okay. Kids are home. Ember, you need to take a shower or something. Clone. I know. Uh. She's very angry about school. I understand. Hi, Adam. Thank you for that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why don't you dance with your dad? <laughs> Two little purple boys right now. <laughs> Ember, I believe I told you to do something about your hygiene. I don't know why you're cleaning the toilet to do that. Hey, Phoenix is home. She is exhausted. Go take a nap or something, okay? You probably would be very tired after coming home from a work day at being a dancer. Makes sense to me. Oh, she's napping on here. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, why are you angry? Oh. Okay, you don't have to dance anymore, Junior, if you don't want to. You can do whatever you want now. Adam's calling her out right now. <laughs> Goodness. Goodness. <laughs> She's like, stop talking to me. I'm so <laughs> stressed out from school. <laughs> like, and I'm sick. I don't feel good. Try to scare him. He's a ghost. See if it works. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, you're having a laugh. I see. <laughs> okay. Ember's awake at 2 a.m. Like usual. What are you going to do now, Ember? Research the guitar. Okay. She really likes the guitar. I guess I'll have to make sure she packs that with her when I have her, when she grows up and she moves out. Be a nice way for you to have fun. <laughs> She's gonna play the guitar. Okay, yeah, hopefully this doesn't wake up Adam. I guess we'll see. Oh, I guess he's fine. <laughs> Phoenix, my goodness. She's feeling trapped. 
trapped in the same old job. Well, I mean, technically you could quit if you want, but like, come on, you're a dancer now. I thought that would be fun for you. Adam's awake now. <laughs> yibs yibs. Don't be mean to him, Phoenix. Everybody in this house wants to be mean to each other. <laughs> Stop. <gasps> Adam's class is going to field trip to the aquarium. Hey. I'm jealous. I want to go to the aquarium. <laughs> it's time for Adam to go on his field trip. Okay. Go have fun at the aquarium, Adam. I wish I could go with you. <laughs> I love the aquarium. <laughs> All right, Ember's got to go to school in about an hour. She's fine. She didn't do any homework, but that's to be expected. Try not to hate school too much today, Ember. I didn't realize we had bills to pay. That's my bad. I do that all the time. <laughs> Please pay the bills. <laughs> <coughs> okay, great. <laughs> Adam's home from his uh, field trip. Oh, disappointing dip. Adam could have thought of better ways to spend today than going to the aquarium. <laughs> you didn't have fun at the aquarium? I'm sorry. At least you didn't have to be doing school stuff, right? Hey, Phoenix got promoted. She's a company dancer now. Cool. Oh, wow. Somehow our house was in compliance with all the neighborhood action plans. That's surprising. Okay, Ember wants to fix the shower, so go right ahead, I guess. Phoenix is sleeping, naturally. Why don't you get up and take care of yourself a little bit first, huh? And you want to prepare minestrone. Well, I don't see why not. Yeah, I know, Ember. Life is just so awful for you. Um... Let's see. If Phoenix can cook minestrone, I'll have her do it. Because why not? Yeah, minestrone. We've even got a tomato in the fridge to help it cheap be cheaper. Yeah, go ahead. Make some minestrone, Phoenix. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had her, like, max her cooking skill, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> so she can make anything. I forgot that. Did you do your homework, Adam? Because I didn't... S oh, no, you don't need to. That's right. I have a very short memory right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're very tired, Ember. Go ahead and take a nap or go to sleep. Whatever you want to do. Phoenix has got her minestrone. Adam's sleeping. Everybody's going to bed. Phoenix like, I just made something, but uh, okay. Minestrone will be good tomorrow if anybody wants it. So, given the amount of days that I had, I think it, I had it set, I think, to um, being a preteen, uh, Ember should become a full teenager on Harvest Fest. So, it's Wednesday now. Harvest Fest will be tomorrow on Thursday. So, when uh, Harvest Fest begins on Thursday, I'll go ahead and remove the preteen trait from her so she'll become a full teen. Uh, because it doesn't seem like she's actually aging on her own right now. Um, even though aging is on for preteens. I've also never used the mod, really, for like a full amount of a preteen span. So maybe it would do that anyway. And then the aging thing would show up. I don't know. But it doesn't seem to be working for me right now. So <laughs> I'll remove the preteen trait for her on Thursday. And to make sure her age span is set to the right amount of days to make sense. So we will get to at least see a full teen Ember in this episode. <laughs> she won't change a whole lot, but, you know, just a little bit. Oh. Well, now Ember's going through a mean streak. Makes sense. All right, kids are off to school. I guess the last day of middle school for Ember. Okay, Adam's a B student. Yay! 
Phoenix is home. Grab something to eat, Phoenix. Ember is very dirty. What did you do at school to get yourself like that? <laughs> ha ha! Why don't you grab some water? <laughs> get some water, Adam. You're dehydrated. Oh wow, now she's going to actually do her middle school homework. <laughs> Ember, you're not even going back now. <laughs> Why would you just choose to do it now? <laughs> It's like, well, it's pointless now, so now I'll do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't think so. I don't think I ever had to meet anybody at school. You just know a bunch of those adults that were hanging out. Oh, you know Willow. <laughs> Your, uh, whatever cousin. And Parker Cho? Okay. Why don't you chat with Parker? Oh, level 3 of mischief skill. Alright. I knew what she was doing then. Probably trolling the forums. I think I'm going to have her... Um, kind of go out in town again. Just so she can maybe get up to a little bit more mischief and stuff for her aspiration. Since she doesn't have to worry about school tomorrow, she can kind of... Go, go out and do some things today without the parents being worried about it. It's a ghost night. Super. Well, that won't be strange for Ember in any way. She's like, what? Aren't there always ghosts? You never claim to be a criminal mastermind. <laughs> I feel like everybody in town knows her, obviously, and like she's been hanging out at the pub when she was a kid. <laughs> so they're all like, yeah, uh huh. Whatever you say, but Barry. <laughs> Alright, so she's got all her mean or mischievous interactions completed. Now she just needs to be disliked by two sims. So... I'll have to pick a couple sims to kind of be mean to, I guess. <laughs> I mean, she's going through a mean streak, so... She might just try to pick fights with people just because. Somebody stinks in here. I'm gonna have her be mean. She's gonna go act tough to this guy. She's like, oh yeah? Yeah? <laughs> you guys wanna fight? <laughs> I think she's gonna have to do a lot. She's gonna have to do a lot to like actually have somebody dislike her. Okay, well how about this ghost then? <laughs> he glitz in here, kid. <laughs> like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> She's like, why aren't you listening to me? <laughs> oh, you didn't like that at all. Oh, he goes like, ah, something bad's going on over here. Never mind. <laughs> Ask him what his problem is. <laughs> Oh, she's disliked by him now. You can leave that ghost alone now. And it's like midnight. How about, yeah, go on home. Let's go home, Ember. You got one person to dislike you. That's fine. We'll get the next one later. <laughs> hey, it is Harvest Fest. No, come back up here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the preteen charade from Ember. Hey, she got a little taller. Welcome, Ember Berry, to being a teenager. It isn't really that different, and you probably feel exactly the same. Just a bit taller. Your voice might be a little deeper, and you're going to start experiencing a lot more drama. Don't worry, you'll make it. Okay, now she is a... Full teenager. Full teen now. I'm gonna go in and just make her look a little bit older in cast as well. Um, maybe give her a different outfit, maybe a different hair. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> but she's up to her full height now, so she's about at the same height as Phoenix. 
just might change up your earrings or piercings a little bit. Because you're a little older now, so I feel like you'd be allowed to get a few more piercings. A few more in her ears. And then I think she would uh, have one of these as well. A little septum piercing. That would probably be where she would be as a teen. I'm gonna keep that necklace because I like it. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll put a little bit of makeup on now. I feel like you would even go that far as a teen. Just be like, I can wear makeup now. <laughs> Dark eyes. <laughs> I feel like when she's like gonna try to use makeup for the first time, since she's got a little bit of a goth type feel to me, I feel like she would go a little heavy handed with it at first. <laughs> I kind of like this. She just puts more of it up in her little buns. I've got some curlies in the front. I like that. It's cute. And I am gonna keep this as one of her outfits. I'll just make her a second everyday outfit as well. Might be a little different. Here we go. This will be your second everyday outfit. She still looks real nice. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Teenage Ember, full teen. Just looking a little bit older now, a little taller. <laughs> now we do Harvest Fest. <laughs> So I'm gonna have Phoenix make the big grand meal, then I think I'll have Ember bake a few desserts with it. So they can kind of have both going on, it'll be nice. She's so hungry right now, I'm just gonna have her eat. <laughs> How about we make a grand meal instead? Um, just make a big turkey, turkey dinner, okay? That'll be nice. And then we're gonna invite some people to come hang out. Oh my god, Power Conservation Day! <sighs> well, mm, I guess they won't do anything. <laughs> Phoenix, you might as well stop because there's nothing you can do to finish that. It's like, sorry guys, we can't have um, a grand meal at home because this town hates us. This town said a big ol' screw you, and um, it's gonna make a garden salad. That's fine. I'd probably just have them go out to eat somewhere later. Maybe they'll invite some of their family over, and they can all have a big group meal somewhere. That would still be fun. They're still having a nice little family time around the table, I guess. That's fine. I'm honestly just waiting for Ember to get done with her homework. Okay, well, she's decided to stop now, so. Um, sushi place wouldn't have room for the big group. Um, let's go to Sulani. Go eat here. Okay. Adam, Surin, Indigo, Nevin, Ember, Ashley, Adam. Let's go! <coughs> Big family meal together. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Of course it's raining. Okay. This is fun. Everybody go inside. I like the Phoenix is wearing one of her newer outfits I got for her. Okay, let's um... Oh man. Where are we all gonna fit? <laughs> all these tables are too small! Um... Shoot, I guess this one? Can we request that table, please? I also don't want to be sat outside when it's raining. Uh, I haven't seen Ashley in so long! Look at her! Yay! I hope everybody fits, but it doesn't seem like it. It's still only meant for four people? Oh. 
Well, it's okay. They're split up four and four. That's fine. Honestly, the way they split up is also kind of good. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. This is fine. Yeah, because we got Phoenix, Nevin, Adam, and Ashley over here. So, like, all the really nice good beans over here. And then Surin and Amber, and Adam, and Indigo. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, let's let's order for everybody. I don't know if it'll count for this table too, or if they've got their own thing. I guess I'll see. Nope, I'm ordering for everybody. All right, that's fine. Um, let's get some nice wine for the adults. I'm skipping Ember because. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, ma, ma, ma. I guess Ember can have some nice hot tea. That'll be good for her. And, uh, sorry, Adam. You just have to get water. <laughs> uh, let's see. A nice meal. We've just got fish stuff here, so... Honestly, just get lobster for everybody. Everybody gets lobster. Everybody, let's just have a good talk now. Hang out. Uh -huh. uh, see, Adam doesn't even know all of these guys. Oh my. Please meet everybody, Adam. Two, these are your brothers, brother-in-laws. Brothers-in-law, I don't know. Brothers, <laughs> basically. Ah, Junior, don't do that. <laughs> Ashley's just up at the bar. <laughs> Ashley, come back. <laughs> I don't think you even know your uncles. At least not well. Now, yeah, include Ashley into this conversation, okay? Talk to her too. There we go. I'm trying to manage these two tables of people. <laughs> Ashley's retired. All right. I don't remember if I had her do that or if that's something she did on her own. Ask Adam about being dead. What's that like? <gasps> no! 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 Nevin! Nevin, no! <laughs> oh my god! Adam, don't laugh at him. He's dying. <laughs> What is this, Jen? What is this? I mean, I know I'm in orange now, but what is this? Oh, no! Ember. Ember, please try. She's demanding that Nevin be spared. She's like, no, you cannot take my brother. Please, give him back. Oh no, it didn't work! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Adam's just drawing on his placemat like, doo doo doo! I feel like he's the only one that can be like, oh, wow, <laughs> jeez. Because he's a ghost, so you know, whatever. But. <laughs> Ember, is the food just too good? You can't... She's not even sad. Look at her. She's just like, mmm, yes, this food smells delicious. Ember, <laughs> your brother is dying! She's like, oh, it was good food. What's happening? I can't believe that just happened. I... <sighs> well, Phoenix, why don't you grab that? <clears throat> God, I almost feel like this is, like, why Ember is kind of, like, so different from the rest of this family. 
She's just like, I have seen laughter kill my dad and my older brother and, uh, you know, screw being good and happy. Apparently, it's just how you die. This is so ridiculous. Ashley, you don't want to eat your lobster? I can't imagine why. What is happening in this game? <laughs> I hardly ever have had emotional deaths happen. And now in the same family, two of them have died from it. And to go come eat your lobster. Okay, once again, the adults can have some more wine. And then we're gonna get some dessert. At least some of you will, I guess. Nice tiramisu, I think Ember would enjoy. Some apple pie for Adam. Man, he even had a girlfriend that I think they might have just been engaged. Like... I just got food for the people I couldn't control. So that I know they actually eat. The other people I can't control, so... I'm assuming they'll at least drink their drinks. Phoenix is getting a little sloppy drunk, but she just watched her son die. I feel like that's fair, you know? Let's end this meal and release these people before anybody else dies. This has been ridiculous. <laughs> I was just trying to have a good night out with family. <laughs> oh, at least we got Nevin's gravestone. We'll go put him outside next to Adam's. And you know, I know for this public enemy aspiration that Ember has to witness somebody dying for the very last part of it. But you know what I think is the game's gonna do to me because it's how it is? I don't think it's gonna count that one because it didn't happen when she was in the aspiration chunk of it. She wasn't at the point of the aspiration where she needed to do that, so it's probably not even gonna count that as her witnessing death. Even though she literally has. So that kind of really sucks. Alright, so, uh... It's a very cool looking gravestone. The aliens get really interesting ones. But, uh, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Before anybody else decides to die, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that part here. <laughs> so, that was the first part of the Orange Generation. Ember is now a full teenager. So next time we'll be working more on her skills and aspiration stuff. And um, yeah, if you want to see that or any more of this or other uh, videos that I make, or, um, you can subscribe. I try to upload three days a week. And uh, you can leave me a like or comment down below if you feel uh, so inclined to do so. And um, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.